Hi, this is Mike again, and this is lesson four. And in lesson four, what we're going to do, we're going to take all those things we learnt in the last one, which was the wash, the hills, and put some stars into the sky and make it into a nice little picture. So let's, uh, I assume that you've already got your paper on the board and we need an A4, sorry, an A5 piece of uh, paper this time. I'm not going to do a great big picture, but this will be a nice little picture. And then we've got to mix up some paint. And what I've got is we've got some blue and I mixed, dropped some uh, brown into that blue just to make it very dark. And then I've mixed up with a little bit of yellow and some tiny bit of blue, some very pale uh, green paint, almost yellow. And you'll see what we do with that later. And we're now ready for the off. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay our wash down as we learnt before. And here we go. And we'll probably do this two coats as we go across and start at the top and come down very nicely and evenly. And down we come. When you're mixing that paint up, you uh, make your blue up and just put a tiny bit of um, brown into it. You can judge it as you, as you mix it in. You'll see whether you need a little bit more or not. And we get down to this level. Now, a nice clean brush with some nice clean water on it. And we just run that across there like this. Now I want you to go into your green plate paint with a nice clean brush again and then we put our green paint on and I just want that across here like that across the bottom. Just run it into there where that water was there and you could probably just touch a tiny bit of yellow into that as well. There we are. Now we're going to let that dry and then we're going to put another coat onto here just to make that sky nice and dark. Now I'm going to dry this with the dryer and then we'll get back in a second or so. Right, we're now back and we're going to put another coat of paint on this now. Just run it across like we've done before. I would really want to try and make this sky as dark as we can so the stars really stand out on it there we go almost there just bring that down to there and then what we'll do is we'll get that nice clean brush again and just run that down with the clean water onto there that's it now we're gonna let that dry and then we'll do our next part Right, we're back now and it's dry. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to put our hills in. That's the next one. So a little bit of black or dark paint, some brown and blue mixed together. And then we're going to, just going to run this across here like this. So we come up and down this way, perhaps put one into there. And then we'll take a, another one there and another one right up to there. And we just drag that across nicely like that. Right, and then we're going to wait till that dries, and then we're going to put another layer on. Right, that's going to dry off again. Right, we're back again. So this time we've got our, our brush, and we're going to run over this one, and down here, and then we'll put another one up through there, and then just take that up there so we've now got this one standing a little bit uh, in, in the in the shade sorry in the uh, in the fade right let that dry and we're gonna mix up a little bit of paint again and once that's dry we're gonna go over it again right down we come we're gonna take that across there down to there and then we're going to take this one and bring it down here like that so we've now got a couple in the background and one in the foreground we'll just 
just go over that one again I think and then we can do another one on there in a minute that's it right now we're going to do our final coat it's the last little coat of black paint we're going to do on this and just mix up a tiny bit and make it nice and dark there we are so we're going to come across this one like that and we bring it down here and then we're going to bring this one that's over here down this way touch that into there like that that's it so we've got some little hills there now you can practice this and I'll just do a little bit on a scrap piece of paper and you can see what I'm going to do because on these we, if you remember in one of the earlier lessons we did trees so if you get your small brush one that's something like that and you can practice it first we're going to put some tiny trees into this picture on the hills and what you're going what you need to do is something like this tiny little thing like that and what they look like is fir trees there's another one there and make them wider at the bottom and slightly curled up you practice those and you soon get some little fir trees and they look quite good on the picture so here we go we're going to put a couple in and if you put it against the yellow it'll stand out right, not quite wet enough there we go We'll have another one there. And perhaps we'll put a couple over here on this one. They don't need to be very big, but when all you're doing is just touching these things in so they get slightly thicker or thinner as they get to the top. And, and they sort of go upwards. There we are. But if you don't want to do those, what you can do is you can you can do the trees like we learnt the other week. We can put a few of those in. But there we are. So we'll do one more on here. In this little deal here. And now that's pretty much dry. And if you wanted to, it's up to you, but you could you can put as many coats as you like on some of these because it really brings the shape into them. There we are. A bit down here, that's it. And you don't have to be even because when they dry out it looks as if the ground's um, undulating. But right, so we've got that now. We'll dry this off for the final time. <coughs> Our piece of paper down the bottom. So we cover up that bottom part and if you just drag this paper up to just at the edge of that yellow now we're back to our toothbrush and we're going to dip this into the white paint and i've got a little bit on the tray here into the water with some there and i'm just going to scrub it into that little tiny bit pull it back out and now we're going to do some spraying and flick it on the stars finished and now what we're going to do is to take the paper away and now we've got our hills with our little trees on and we're going to take this off and we should have a nice little picture to finish with so remember away from you another one there one at the top one at the bottom and there's a rather nice little picture of of the stars in the sky with some hills all done through three little things that we learnt to do 
on the last lesson. And that's quite a nice little picture. And what have we got to do when we've finished it? We've got to put our name on. So, get your brush and get your paper, paint rather. And let's get our name on. And maybe this time we could actually do it in white paint. So it'll stand up on this. Mike McCrow. There we are. And that's the end of that lesson. And I hope you enjoyed that. And it's a nice little picture to come up with. And we look forward to the next time when we learn some more techniques. Anyway, get on with the painting and really enjoy it. And I'd like to see what you've done afterwards. Bye.